So you finish your amigurumi ball, but you still have a giant gaping hole in the middle of it. Don't worry, that's totally normal. I'll show you how to close up that hole. So you want to get a pair of scissors and cut the yarn connected to the yarn ball at least six inches away from where the yarn is looped around the hook. Then you can pull the hook all the way so that the yarn that you just cut goes all the way through this last loop that you made. Now thread that yarn tail through a tapestry needle and pick up your amigurumi ball. So if you were to keep crocheting, you would next crochet into the stitch marked by the orange stitch marker, but we're not crocheting anymore. We're closing up that hole. We are actually gonna put the tapestry needle under just the front loop of this stitch marked by the orange stitch marker. So the stitch looks like a horizontal V and the front loop is the side of the V that's closer to you. It's this one over here. So I'm gonna take out my orange stitch marker actually. I don't need that anymore and it's getting in the way. And I'm gonna put the needle from the bottom up of this V through only the front loop of that V and then pull the yarn nice and tight. And I'm gonna repeat that all the way around this last round, which was six stitches. So I'm gonna do it a total of six times. And every time I'm gonna pull really tight. And you can already see how it's making that center hole disappear. So you actually don't have to put pull through every single stitch. If you feel like it's pretty closed off, you can stop. Uh, but I just wanna show you that it's gonna be okay even if you pull through everything and you have this little nubbin at the end because what we are going to do now is hide the yarn tail inside of the piece. That's how you make sure everything stays nice and secure. So you're gonna put your needle through the middle of all that and then push the needle out to some other side of your piece so that this yarn will get caught up inside the stuffing on the inside. And see how when I did that, even though I had a little peak before, it actually brought that peak inside. So now we've got a nice smooth amigurumi ball. And if you happen to have a lot of yarn tail left, you can stick your needle in exactly the same hole that the yarn tail's coming out of and out some other part of the piece, pulling it just enough so that the yarn tail disappears from where it was so that you get the yarn tail more caught up on the inside of your piece. Last step is to cut the yarn tail as close as possible to the surface of your piece. And if you can still see the yarn tail, all you gotta do is massage your piece until it disappears inside. And now you've got a perfectly closed off piece.